Sunday, August 16th. In the mountains at Mount Whitney, getting ready to ascend tomorrow morning up the mountain. I've had this on my bucket list of things I need to do at age 54, because I've been a type one diabetic for 31 years. And to show people with type one diabetes that they can live a powerful life, that they don't have to be stopped by self-limiting beliefs, that they don't need to live in fear, that they can live powerfully, they can be strong, they can run marathons, they can hike mountains, and they can do all the things that a non-diabetic can do. So I've got all my gear packed. I'm gonna be heading up at three o'clock in the morning, I'm going with a buddy of mine. This will be my third time up, last time was 18 years ago, and I wanna show other type 1 diabetics so that it can be done. I'll check in with you from the mountain tomorrow. Make it a great day. Let's do it. Ready? On our way up to Lone Pine Lake from the portals. This is our first water crossing. We are stopped at the cutoff to Lone Pine Lake. Gonna have a little snack. Just checked my blood sugar. I'm at uh, 78 and dropping. So ate a little bit of uh, sugar for quick energy. And now a granola bar with uh, some peanut butter, protein, for a little longer energy. And uh, it's cold. It's probably about 50 degrees. The wind is howling. Great morning. We're up here just below trail camp. I'm gonna climb Mount Whitney today. The sun's just coming up, and this is an incredible spot to be. So, I woke up this morning, my blood sugar was 258. I felt like death, and had no energy. Uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. Um, I checked my regular continuous glucose monitor, and it wasn't working, so I had to resort to the finger stick method to figure out where I was at. And climbing this mountain, which is a major feat, using a finger stick is not fun. I mean, stopping every 20 or 30 minutes to see where I'm at. So we started the trail and my meter comes back on, starts working again, which, nice. Now we're heading up past seven people on the way down so far with altitude sickness, all being affected. Hopefully it doesn't set in on us. But um, this is where we get a chance to prove, prove what we can do. Still just below the trail camp. Climbing the stairs, water running on Check in this meadow we came across. It's beautiful. Oh man. Just passed by six or seven hikers on the way down. They summited yesterday, camped overnight. Got a nice stream down here. Top off the water bottles later. Uh, oh well, didn't come up here to have an easy time, did I? Didn't come up here to take a walk in a park. It's all about push yourself, baby. It's all about push yourself. See what you got. Go big or go home. All right, we are at trail camp. We just got here. It's um, I don't know what time it is. It's eight o'clock. Been on the on the trail for five hours. We were camping here overnight. Got my altimeter showing we're at 12,000 feet right now, 12,011. Got my Red Bull. Oh yeah. Birthday cake flavor. 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. 
about 8.15, we just left trail camp. We are working our way up the switchbacks. They say there are 99 of these. And that's just where the trail switches back and forth. About halfway up the switchbacks. We've got frozen ice on a trail. We're looking good. My sugar's being nice to me. Oh yeah, feeling good. The trail's frozen over with ice. Got a little cold last night. Check this out. I'm probably at about 12,800 feet and I see a snow field. Now to me, that means I gotta go play in it. Because where else do you get to go play in the snow in late August in North America? But how sick is this? Standing in the snow. Chilling out. Woohoo! This is why I'm up here, right here. Not feeling so hot, feeling a little light, a little weak. We all know that feeling. But I'm not gonna stop. Made it too far. I'm probably pushing about 13,000 feet right there. That is the summit. 14,508. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, we're on our way up. Coming to the spot in the trail where it gets a little hairy, a little sketchy. It's the only place on a trail where they put in these steel posts and chain. If ever there's a place you don't want to fall, this is it. The reason I don't fear because I've been to the edge. When I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes 31 years ago, I went to the hospital, got a blood test because I wasn't feeling good. Went home on the way, stopped at Jack in a Box, had a big cheeseburger, fries, Coke, and a milkshake. Doctor called me an hour later, said don't do anything, don't go anywhere, and whatever you do, don't eat anything. They said they'd send an ambulance for me. I said no. Drove myself to the Hogue Hospital, walked in and passed out in a coma. My sugar was 900 before I drank that Coke. Ouch. There have also been two more times in the last 31 years where I got to wake up to a bedroom full of paramedics and an IV in my arm with sugar bringing me back to life. And if it wasn't for that sugar and those paramedics, I'd be dead. So I don't live in fear. I've been to the edge. Now it's time to live with power. Morning. Morning. Yeah, like a gimbal? Yeah. yeah. Stabilizer mount. Yep. Morning. Morning, how are you? Incredible. And yourself? Good. But we just came up the Whitney Trail from Lone Pine. We are 
at about 13,600 feet right now. We've got another 900 to go to the summit, baby. 900 more. All right. I confess. Here's where I have to dig deep. We do a little downhill, a little uphill. Probably about 13,800, maybe 13,900. I gotta dig deep. This is not a walk in a park. This is not the easiest thing I've ever done. I'm winded. I take 30 steps and I gotta stop and take a breath. I gotta make it to the top. I'm gonna leave that gas tank on empty. I'm gonna push with everything I've got. Plenty of time to sit, have a nice snack at the top, have a nice ice cold Red Bull, go Red Bull, plug in you, <sighs> turn around and hit it home. Alright, about 14,000 feet, looking out, looking down. What I was talking about one of the crevasses. That sucker is straight down. What a view. Just, just spectacular. We're on the back side of the trail, and this is looking out over the Sierra Nevada range. Beautiful, beautiful. Kings Canyon over there. And then if I step over, all these people are doing a big, big hike. And they take their packs and they leave them here at this intersection of the trail to summit the mountain. Mount Whitney, 1.9 more miles and we are at the summit. And then we've come 8.7 miles so far. And we will see you. Just past the Narrows, which is an area near the top, a lot of straight downs on both sides, and we're working our way through about a mile, very technical rock scrambling. We're still at about 13.8, because we keep going up and down, up and down. Fourteen thousand two hundred eighty eight feet. I've got about two hundred and thirty feet of elevation to climb. Whew. Yeah, humbling experience. Humbling experience. And worth every penny. Whew. Can't take more than 30 or 40 steps without having to stop and catch my breath. I guess I should do a little more cardiovascular work at the gym before I do this again, huh? See you at the top. Okay, to all the doubters that said Oh wait, you're diabetic? You can't hike to the top of Mount Whitney? Oh, that's not safe. Oh, you should stay home and take it easy. You should stay home where you can monitor your blood sugar. You shouldn't go up there, it's not safe. It's dangerous. Yeah, well, guess what? I just hit the summit of Whitney, so there. What you got now, huh? What you got now? Oh yes. This 
is beautiful. We are at the Lightning Shack, at the top of the summit. This hike meant a lot for me. So my word to anybody out there, whether you're dealing with diabetes or whether you're dealing with any disease, any illness, any physical handicap, is get out of your own way. Stop living within your own self-limiting beliefs, within your own fear, and instead make the choice to live powerfully to go after what you want, to do what you want, to have what you want, and to be what you want. Because you can. And the only person that can stop you is you. Alright, we're out of here. A long way down. See you at the bottom. <laughs>